Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Hello everyone, and welcome to Silent Hill PT. Or at least what I believe to be a homebrew Unreal 4 remake of it. The actual game was only available for a brief window on PS4 before being unceremoniously cancelled. It was actually kind of a big deal at the time. And now for a game that never saw the light of day though, this game has had huge cultural impact. If you've ever played a horror game where a small space starts to warp and change around you, seemingly specifically to torment you, well, it probably owes its existence to this. There have been so many copycats that the formula is almost a cliché in horror games at this point, mainly due to the small scope, meaning they're fairly easy to develop. However, at the time, the simplicity was the point. The simplicity was what made it so unique. Even though it took place in a fairly small area, it was very dark and atmospheric, and the graphics were absolutely mind-blowing, especially for the time. And it just had this way of making you feel such a unique and deep and growing sense of dread that really stuck with a lot of people, and it's kind of insane the cultural impact that it's had for really being a glorified demo. I've never had a PS4, I might have watched some gameplay of it back in the day when it came out, but other than that, I really only have, like, cultural osmosis going for me. But I think it really says something that literally the opening quote is something that I've heard a million times before, but never knew what it was until now. So I'm ready to experience it. Oh god, I'm actually really nervous. There it is. And remember, this was before Resident Evil 7, so it was almost unheard of just to see a site like this. I mean, look at this. We feel like we're the height of an actual person in this hallway. All the little, like, nicks and dings in the wall. We can see the reflections in the wood. It makes you feel like you're there. It's like walking down the hall of your own, of your own home, but something's wrong. One minute to midnight, and... I can hear a radio playing around the corner, it sounds like. By telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene... They're describing a murder scene. ...found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of That's numbers it. in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. Hmm. See, right off the bat, like, it just creates this atmosphere of, like, I guess, casual viciousness? Like, these are horrible things they're reporting on. They're making sure to let you know it's a trend. And in this dark house, we're just left to wonder, why are we hearing this? I, I think we just have to keep moving. I don't think we'll be able to open doors on our own. I think they'll open when they're supposed to open. Oh wow, I just noticed those railings. Wait. Okay, maybe I have watched someone play this before because those railings look really familiar. Uh, but let's not dawdle any more than we have. Oh, it is so dark. And there we are. Still 11.59. Still the same storm, still the same swaying chandelier. But this time, no radio. And what are these scattered about? Pills? Pills and candies, it looks like. Or maybe just candies, I don't know. And a teddy bear on the ground. 
this whole thing just has such a way of feeling like a bad dream. This door is locked this time. Can we leave? No. Not that I expected any different. Oh look, it causes the shadows to move around as it teeters back and forth. At first, I wasn't sure if that was me just walking into it, but no such luck. Okay, do we go back the way we came? No. So what do I do then? One of these days, I'm going to try to go through a door, I'm going to turn around, and there's going to be something there. One thing that is... Oh god, that freaking coat. And I knew it was there, too. But one thing that I know is going to end up being significant is the fact that, like, they said that the father was repeating a chain of numbers like a chant. Okay, where am I going? You're really... You're really freaking me out. Making me feel trapped, even though I know there's got to be something. RMB? Oh! My voice. Can you hear it? The sign. Can you read it? I'll wait forever if you'll just come to me. That was an instruction. I was just waiting for me to notice. I wonder, was that thing always there? Now, I'll be honest, the story of me even having this game in my possession is a little bit weird. Now, we saw the creator of this version in the opening title, but something that's kind of strange... I actually have no memory of downloading this. According to the file, I did so like four or five years ago. Sounds like sobbing, but like almost as if it's like coming through the voice box on a toy or something. <laughs> Situations like this, all I can do is kind of shiver as I try to imagine what's on the other side of that door. Disjointed sounds like that, and then not having the luxury of getting to see what's making them? That's so much worse than anything else I can imagine. Okay. Also, I've turned my brightness up just a little bit, um... Just to, just to save too much darkness in uh, rendering. Oh no, you're not going to let me through this time. No, there is something worse than that. There's making it seem like you're not going to tell me what's there. And then inviting me to come see for myself. This angle we can't even uh, no no for a moment in my mind I just saw a quick little screenshot of that moment from sweet 776 All right, look at the floor oh it's totally dark now I don't want to look I think I can maybe make something out there but I just can't tell I'm gonna have to get closer that's a sink Oh no, it's having me zoom in. It's having me- no, no, no. I tried to zoom in to see. And I realized in that moment that there was no way. I couldn't do it.
Oh my god. Hi! <laughs> the zoom in is not much help here. You're gonna force me to approach you, aren't you? No, 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 Oh, but the door is open, so through the darkness, I can see the light above the stairs. You made it so that I can see my destination, but in order to get there, I have to wade through where I know some horrible thing is. It could be right beside me and I'd never know. There's that brief moment when you enter a new loop where you can't hear the storm. It really is like a recurring nightmare where you get a little closer every time. There's a light on the ground, can I... It up. I don't want to know what's in the bathtub, but it looks like it's fall. Oh, we do have a flashlight. <gasps> My god. And now we're stuck in here. Oh, look at that. It's mouth like opening and closing under a membrane. It's like I'm trapped in here, and this thing's drawing the attention of whatever's out there. And it's like I don't know whether to pity this thing or smother it to keep myself safe. Okay, I'm getting out of the bathroom with the eraser head, baby. This flashlight is not great at a distance. I still can't see what's up on that balcony. God, every little element is starting to get to me now. It's like the sound of that thing swinging back and forth is like nails on chalkboard. It is completely dark now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's very faint, but is the radio on again? There's a whole bunch of alcohol everywhere. His six-year-old daughter has the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was 204863. Seen after neighbors called 911, found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murder, look behind you. Okay, I get it. I get it. We're playing as a family annihilator. There was another family shot to death in the same And this is either what we get when we end up in Silent Hill or some kind of afterlife punishment. Maybe I should I, I already forgot the number that you said, but I'm sure it'll be important. Hopefully you'll repeat it. All I know is last all I got was the last three digits, eight six three. Two oh four eight six three. 
204863. And they said he was found listening to the radio in the car, so that makes sense that we're getting paranoid messages about the tap water through this. All right, so 204863. Can't go that way, split it up into pairs. Oh, yeah! Look at you! One eye gun? The other bulging out of your head. Did you just break my neck? Wait, did I lose? Oh, no, 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 no. We're obviously still going because I still have the flashlight. Alright, so it, it is obvious where the father, and obviously quite, obviously quite an awful one, I just keep thinking, like, lured the six-year-old out of the bathroom by telling her it was a game. 204863. 204863. I've got to say it sometimes, but not constantly. And also, why are you saying like that? Saying it is 9-11 and not 9-1-1. How about no? Two I'm looking behind me. And now you've made me dread walking into the darkness after I'd gotten used to it. Come on, 204863. I wonder if it's uh, meant to be representative of the mental loops you have to go in before it comes to a head like this. Whenever I hear about like a shooter or something, or somebody who did some like crazy killing, I always have to imagine like what their mental state was like for probably years leading up to it. Like, what was their day-to-day -day life like? 204863. Maybe I should be checking the pictures on the walls, which... I think might not always be the same. This has always been the same. This one is missing. Wait, my voice, can you hear it? That sign, can you read it? The sign, can you read it? I'll wait forever if you'll just come to me. It's got to be the wife, the pearl necklace, 204863. Or Martha Wayne. Well, I just realized that says gouge it out. Gouge what out? 204863. There's got to be a missing piece somewhere, something that I have to zoom in on. Progression is based on seeing things, seeing what it wants me to see. Which makes sense, considering this is all trying to tell me something. This sign, can you read it? My voice, can you hear it? The only two things I'm thinking that could be referring to are this phone and the radio over there. And I already had a look over there. But I don't see anything that could possibly help me. Of course, there's the picture over there that says gouge it out, but I can't do anything with that, so... I've been stuck on this for a while. <laughs> uh... Is it just because I waited here for a while? What was that? Uh... Does that mean I can move on now? Did I look over something correctly? What was that? Was that the lamp burning out? I don't even remember if it was on before. We've got to complete the picture. Okay, so now what? Maybe next I have to wait over by the radio?
Oh. Oh my god. Okay, so just pressing X is what opens that. So I can interact with X. That's gonna be important going forward. Oh my god, I've been playing this for like an hour. Yeah, did, did not did not tell me this anywhere, so thanks. Always the same hallway, and yet I never know what's going to be waiting for me in it. Wait, will you still say the same thing? You do. Everything still appears the same. The radio oh! is saying nothing. Ah, oh, something smashed out the window up above. All on a trail leading up to this. <laughs> you know, it's funny, none of this looks out of place, but in context, it almost functions as like a shrine to what we threw away. And we can continue. Forgive me, Lisa. There's a monster inside me. Guess it doesn't matter. There's like a red haze down the hall when I stand a little further back. Maybe just glare from the light in front of me? That picture no closer to completion. What am I walking in? That's not me walking. I can hear, like, squishiness. After killing his family, the father hung himself with a garden hose they had in the garage. I thought he was found listening to the radio. Or am I thinking of the wrong family homicide? Apparently those are pretty common around here. Tell you one thing, this game's doing a whole lot of show and not tell. Did I maybe store the bodies in the fridge? You know, I was really hoping to be rid of this imagery this time around. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually... I actually preferred the chandelier and its creakiness. Those cries sound so much more pained. Like I said about the rain before, that moment when you come through on a new loop and hear nothing is almost the worst part of a given loop. I can hear them calling to me from... I'd say from where, but I already have a guess. I'm sorry I'm not talking much, but look at this. Like, take this in. It's not really gameplay, but this is probably the most I've ever felt like I was in a nightmare in a game. You ever have those nightmares where you start to realize that it must be a dream, that this couldn't possibly be real, and it has to end at some point, but as far as your reference, it just isn't happening? Is there any new text anywhere? It's not even leaking out continuously, it's all just, like, pooling and then spilling. Hello. Okay, that wasn't here before. Oh my, it's like I'm playing a much, much more horrifying version of the Exit 8. 
Wait. Were you missing one of your L's a second ago? That last one's going nowhere. Nothing but an exclamation. And now that's gone as well. That was strange. Where are you going with that? The only thing is that uh, in combination with this sentence to be completed, I wonder if that's not significant. Actually, I'm going to start a new loop because I just had an idea. Let's just see something real quick. Okay, so there's you. I look away. That's gone. If I come back over here... Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you know how disconcerting it is to hear the simultaneous laughter and crying of a murdered unborn baby? I mean, really, every part of that sentence is individually horrible and compounds the rest of it. So, you know. Good to be back, hanging buddy. I can't even understand what's being said. That wasn't the usual animation. Something's up with our vision! And we're fast. Oh, everything's open now, but... The hall doesn't end where it did before, no. I see, this is us starting to panic, isn't it? Yeah, I think we might be losing it just a tad. Is there something I need to see from here? I don't know if that blood was in the sink a second ago. But we... Gotta remember that even here, there might be something that we're meant to see. Like, we're may maybe probably not just supposed to go back and forth endlessly. We can still zoom in. But it inverts on us. We go through one way, and, and then come up in a mirror image the other way. Look at you. Can we do anything with any of this? No. What if I try going back the other way? What if I try doubling back? <sighs> Nothing. Wait, was that there before? Can I... Okay, there's a weird spot on the... I'm peering into the bathroom. Wait, what? Those are blood stains on the shower curtain. Oh, we're we're looking through the back of where the bathtub would be. This is happening just below our line of sight. No turning back now. But 
there's nothing there. That was so... You got fired, so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? Exactly ten months back. Okay, I see what you're doing here. You're the one delivering this to us. Because we, I guess, see you as, like, part of the cause of our problems. This huge weight that is our responsibility that we don't even want, right? Alright, let's go. I don't have to sit here and listen to this. The thing is, it's not even it's not even some kind of like video gamey explanation. It's the same frustrated, selfish motivations of well, really everyone who does this. I mean, Silent Hill 2, James was actually like, you know, a great guy in a bad situation here. No such thing. Looking through that peephole, hearing all of this, and struggling to see... Struggling to see something that we already know what it is, in fact, we did it, but being like a fly on the wall to what is presumably our own murders? It's like those nightmares where you're trying to get a look at something, but you just frustratingly can never make... You can never make it connect. And I'm very suspicious of how bright and calm and open everything is. Look, the dirt on the mirror always just obscuring our face. And yet, some aspects remain. Two zero four eight six three. Two zero four eight six three. All oh, right, thank you for reminding me. 204863. 204863. 204863. This is staying on my screen. Oh, it's almost like I'm being distorted by the radio broadcast. Okay, hello, fake crash screen. Nice of you to join us. Oh, you're in all different languages, too, huh? Oh, and a restart? Hang on, is it doing some funny business, or is that the end? Uh... Well, I've still got the flashlight, so... You're new as well. I walked. I could do nothing but walk. And then, I saw me walking in front of myself. But, it wasn't really me. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Can I... Do I lose points if I say one more time how much I love the dream logic representation here? The kind of statement that bothers you after you wake up, even if you can't quite make sense of it. You're still the same as you were. Storm is still raging. I can still hear that chandelier swinging. This bathroom is usually open every time now. 
A lot of the time the screen is just pitch black. But all this stuff remains. We're actually not finding our movement very restricted too often now. Which is weird, and it makes me wonder, are we progressing, or am I just missing something? Strong bets on the ladder. Is it just me, or are things looking yellower than they used to? I'm getting a very yellowy feel from this, and now suddenly it's gone. Hang on, is that a picture piece right there, actually? Wait, do I just have to focus on it, or can I- oh, I can grab it. Alright. Alright, so they will be- there are things that we can just find. It's not all puzzles, but they might be in some, like, really weird and obscure locations. So... I guess in the absence of anything else, I'll just go through this. Oh wait, there's a piece right there, actually. <laughs> that was fast. Uh, question is, what angle would allow me to get it? Because I can't crouch. Oh, I just have to look at it for long enough. Well, I'm really glad that I had to press X to do this. You know, I, I guess, to be fair, this is an Unreal 4 recreation. And maybe you'd be a lot more likely to try that on a controller when there's, like, three buttons. Is that a piece? I, I They're so small, I can't even tell them from the clutter. There we go. Oh, there's one. Zoom in. Thank you. Uh... And yeah, the rest of this the rest of this is just gonna be Google. Oh, right there. Yeah, I am following the guide and I'm still having trouble finding these things. Oh, we've actually gotten it. Okay, so very interesting thing I found out. While trying to look up if there's like anywhere it says the controls, I found that there's actually a full guide included in in the files of the game, which is really cool of the developer. However, basically what it said is, okay, we don't have to do the one that would have been in the menu in PS4. However, I'm at a bit of a loss now, because from here, things start getting weird. So we can look at you, but the next thing it says to do actually is wait until the clock strikes midnight. So I guess that'll actually happen now. Uh, this is just... Hideo Kojima has always been known for, like, really weird and out-there ideas that always tend to defy gaming conventions. Okay, so... Something's still happening. Oh my god! I imagine I need to follow the sounds. Heard something. Do I continue this way? No. Stopping here, it just stops, and we're back at eleven fifty nine. Here, back there. And actually, now I can see you're still pregnant and bleeding there.
You've got me again. But the guide says to just keep doing this until we get another baby laugh. Which is, our progress is measured in baby laughs right now. That's the level of dream logic we're working on. We have to wait for you to disappear naturally. You look a lot like you're getting closer slowly. Okay, there's a weird red glow happening now. I don't know if this is just like a shader bug or what, but it happens sometimes. There you are. Okay. We need to just back away slowly, I think. Don't let her get close, just... Maybe if we hold down right-click, maybe something more well. No. Okay, so allegedly, if we get you to despawn naturally without attacking us, there is a chance to hear a baby laugh. I've done this like 10, 15 times now. I have not gotten it to happen. Sometimes you're taking steps towards me. And now I'm told not to touch anything. There we go. You've been chosen. Ch chosen for what? <laughs> well, you know, every once in a while I just have to stop and remind myself, I guess we'll never know. So that was the fan remake of Silent Hill PT. And that, look, even though I sort of had an idea for what to expect in terms of what it was going to be like. Oh, by the way, thanks for the controls at the end of the game. Not only that, but the end of the secret ending. Jeez, you hear that, right? Like, the wind outside my window is going crazy right now. I feel like I'm going to open the door to my room and be in a sim similar situation to this. But yeah, I ha I've rarely, maybe not ever, felt such a crushing sense of dread from a game. And I gotta imagine that was even more true, geez, close to a decade ago now, when this came out. Now look, I'm a horror let's player in the 2020s, okay? So I'm no stranger to the premise of surreal guilt trip for our amnesiac crimes. But this one I feel is doing a much better job of it, partly because of its subtlety and also because of the premise. In most games that do this, you're essentially a good guy who did a bad thing, possibly even out of necessity. Here, it is totally unforgivable, and it throws that in your face constantly, 
in like the most matter of fact fashion possible, literally delivering it to us in the form of a news report and not the sounds of our begging family crying out for mercy, but through the mouth of the one we never got to meet who presents to us as almost like a heckling comedian. Now, I expected the halls themselves to, like, shift and change much more than they did. But even when we got that, like, extended one that we could run down, driving ourselves into a frenzy, the architecture itself never changed. Which is kind of funny, because a lot of its imitators do have changing environments, but it's a lot more downplayed here compared to those, and it's arguably more justified here, too. Where in other games, it's often, wait, that wasn't like that before, and that's about the extent of it, here, it's a game almost about rumination. Going through these loops, and, <laughs> I, you know, I actually realized at a certain point, I was walking through, repeating this phrase. It kept making it seem like this string of numbers was important. It never was. But it got me to wander these halls just saying this mantra to myself like a maniac. They actually said, you know, I just made that connection. They said in the beginning, found in his car, repeating this line like a mantra. That's pretty brilliant. I guess that's kind of the Hideo Kojima way, isn't it? How it's like equal parts brilliant and annoying. This really relied on you to spot some really small things or do some really specific things to get it to move forward, which kind of took me out of it at times, because I was so focused on trying to figure out what to do that I was no longer paying attention to the work itself. But I also started to think later on that, well, maybe that's the idea. I mean, look at what it is. PT, Playable Trailer. I think this might be one of the earliest examples of, like, an ARG-style demo, where it's seemingly very small at first, and it wants the players to unpack it. It wants people to talk about it, and in doing so, generate buzz, which is the whole idea as a trailer. <laughs> and generate buzz, it certainly did. Too bad the game never came along to show us what it would have been like. Now, I am basically forced to analyze this in retrospective, but it's kind of weird that I'm taking a nostalgic look at a demo I never played for a game that never released. But if the demo could leave such a lasting legacy, it really makes me wonder what the plan was for the full game. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, the link will also be in the description, if I can find it. Like I said, I downloaded this years ago, and it may have been DMCA'd by now. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.